Well, hello, all you gorgeous creatures. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a beauty haul and review for you. I have got some really fun things, and I'm kind of excited to show you. I got the 88 color palette from BH Cosmetics, and this is in the matte shadows. And it comes with all these beautiful colors. I also got the 88 color palette in the shimmery shades which matches most of the map palette, aside from like a few subtle variations. But they're kind of Kenny proofed and I can't get it open. <laughs> oh my god, why does it hate me? Okay, so I got it open. But this is what they look like. Yeah, look at that. They're amazing. Look at all those beautiful colors. If you're looking for something that's inexpensive that's going to give you a wide array of colors to work with. I would really suggest getting these palettes. They're probably about $12.95 each, and they have so many different palettes to choose from. I just chose the matte and shimmer palettes because they're pretty basic. They do go on a little bit sheer. Let's definitely use a little bit of primer. Okay, let's try the matte palette. Let's try with one of the lighter shades. Let's go with this color right here. This looks like a nice creamy eggshell color. You see how it's there, but it's just really, really kind of pale. You can definitely use that for day looks. So I kind of want to try this red color that's on here, just because it's really hard to get a red shadow that is highly pigmented. It always, always comes off kind of funky. I'm going to put that on my hand. You see how it comes off kind of like, it's really just red. This is kind of, it almost reminds me of Sugar Pill's Vampy Red. I forget what the actual shade is, but it's by Sugar Pill. Um, it's one of my favorite red eyeshadows, and it's really, which is really hard to do. That is beautiful. And then we're going to try a little bit of primer. Maybe a lot. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm priming my hand. And I'm going to take that same red shade and dab it in. You see how it gives it like a really kind of dark blood color? If you notice the difference between using the non-primer and using the primer, I would definitely use the primer with this. This is amazing. Those are some of the colors in the matte palette. Let's do a little bit of shimmer because you know I like to sparkle. Oh my god, look at this beautiful teal color. Look at this beautiful teal color. I'm going to try this. First, I'm going to dab it, or put it on my hand. You see how it just comes on really sheer? It does have a really nice shine to it. I don't know, it goes on really smooth. And I'm going to dab it into where my primed area on my hand is, right here. And see how it comes up really opaque. Oh my god, I love it. So yeah, if you're if you guys really want something that's going to give you a lot of like color, different colors, different contrasts or textures with your makeup, try the BH Cosmetics palettes. They're really inexpensive, and you can get them on bhcosmetics.com. I would say definitely one of my top favorites. So let's try something else. Okay, so Carolyn and I we went to Sephora probably about a month ago, and we saw this palette. This is the Sephora Moon Baked Palette, and this is a nude. They do have two Moon Baked Palettes, and I can't remember what the other one is called, but I really want it. <laughs> but I saw this one, and I fell in love, and I think it's Kenny Proofed, so I can't get it open. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's tape on the sides. Look at that. <laughs> I suppose we should take that off. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we're going to open this palette. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's so sparkly, look. Oh my god. I'm gonna put it on my hand. I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> Let's try this, like, nice plumish color. Ooh, that has a really nice sparkle to it. It layers very nicely. That has a beautiful sheen. Oh my god, it goes on really smooth. It seems to... It looks like it's going to blend extremely well. Let's try it with a little bit of primer. 
Again, this is Urban Decay's Anti-Aging Eye Primer. I'm going to rub this in my hand. And I'm just going to use my finger and press this into where the primer is. Makes it a lot darker, a lot more opaque. You can definitely use this for any kind of look. You can even, like, just blend it out of your primer and it would give you two... Like, it would make a really nice um, eyeshadow, just base eyeshadow, just doing that. And they also, I kind of want to see what this gold looks like. This gold right here, this is called Honey Brown, I believe. That looks amazing. It's a bit of a, it goes on a little bit more opaque than the, the violet shade, but look at that. And I'm going to put it... I don't know. I'm kind of just blending it on my hand to see how it looks. Those two colors would go really nicely together. And I really like this palette. I believe it was like $27. So if you get a chance, check out the Sephora Moonbake palette. This is definitely great for your fall looks, especially evening looks. It's beautiful, beautiful. Great sparkle to it. Um, oh my god, I'm in love and I can't wait to use it on my future looks. So, like, the next thing that I got was, this is just a sample. This is a Benefit highlighter. This you can put in your cheek area. You can use it on your eyes pretty much anywhere. You can use it to prime. You can prime it with your, you can prime your shimmery shadows with this. And this is just what it looks like. And I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. My hand feels kind of defiled from all the makeup. But, yeah, see how nice and smooth it is? And it goes on very very easy. Let, let's see how it blends. Yeah, it's got a nice creamy texture. It's blending out to a velvety finish, but it still has that really nice shimmer to it. So if you see this at Sephora, I would highly suggest the Benefit Shimmer. The next thing I got was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I have been dying to get this. You can use it to like stick glitters to your eye or shimmers and whatnot. But this goes on so, so smooth, and it's got a great finish to it. Look at that. I also got the NYX, um, I don't know, I guess they're pigments or something, but I got it in pearl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto part of where I've applied the milk pencil by using a little brush. I'm going to get a little product on there. And you can see the difference. I put, I overextended the color where the pigment is. So you can look and see where the pigment is on the actual pencil line. I also did the, got the black pearl pigment from NYX Cosmetics. And I'm going to put that on the other side with the milk pencil. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take a little bit. And these are just really beautiful light shimmers. But yeah, see how the pencil makes the shimmer stand out a lot more? And it gives it a little bit more contrast. So hopefully <laughs> you can see those. Also, these were probably, I think I got these at Ulta and they were like a dollar something, <laughs> which is definitely a good steal. I just, I wish they kind of had like more colors and different uh, varying shimmers within those colors. But yeah, for like less than $2, those are a good buy. I also got this fragrance from Sephora. It's called Fla Flower Bomb by Victor Rolf. So I'm gonna smell it. It actually has, oh my God, that smells really good. Oh my God, Carolyn would love this. She, <laughs> oh, it's like crack. It smells like fruity, but it has like kind of, um floral undertones i don't know you guys should like go to sephora and smell this stuff it smells so so good okay so a friend of mine she works at loxetane and she gave me a couple samples to try they use a lot of um, natural ingredients and they are based out of france some of their key products they gave me um the ultimate youth face serum the ultimate youth face care and ultimate youth eye cream I'm going to put on a little bit of the di Divine Cream, because it just sounds divine. <laughs> so I'm going to open up this little sample and put a little bit on my hand, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I think of it. 
It's a nice white cream. It goes on very smooth. It feels kind of heavy and oily. However, this is absorbing right into my skin, so it doesn't, like, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It has a really nice scent to it. It's very light, very, like, not very overly fragrant. Oh my god, that smells good. But yeah, this is absorbing right into my skin. And it gives it a really nice, really silky kind of feel to it. I, I kind of, I really like that. I kind of want to try their Divine Eyes, and this says, Enhance the natural beauty of your eyes with our most effective treatment that helps smooth eye contour area and reduce puffiness. Let me tell you about my eye puffiness. <laughs> I have a lot of it um, due to a lot of, like, health complications, but I will keep you updated on this. But I'm going to try it for a little bit, a little while, and I'm actually going to put some, put some of it on now. Um, and I will show you guys and any results that I may have. What you want to do with any eye cream, you want to put this on your fourth finger. This is your weakest finger. Take a little bit, and you're going to dab this under your eyes, and press it in, and just really just kind of like circle inward. Eye creams are molecularly formulated to stay underneath your eye. But you have to be very gentle with them. And they aren't just supposed to go underneath your eye. They actually go in the entire eye area, as you see what I'm doing. This will help reduce the puffiness and any fine lines or whatnot. I'm going to do the same to the other side. And you always want to go inward from outer corner to inner corner. This is how your lymphatics flow, and it helps to reduce the puffiness. Also, if you, um, even if you're like doing your makeup and whatnot, or removing makeup, if you go outward, this actually stretches your face, and it can cause you to get more lines and wrinkles. And it, it does absorb into the skin very nicely, so it does, it's so far so good. It seems like a really good eye cream. So the next one is the Divine Extract Ultimate Youth Face Serum. And what this does, it boosts the effectiveness of the Divine Cream with the fresh, velvety, gel-textured serum that helps prevent loss of firmness. Let's put this on my face and see how I feel. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a milky, really light cream. A little bit goes a long way. <laughs> doesn't feel heavy at all. It's very light. It does have that same fragrance as the other two products. It's kind of refreshing. It absorbs right into the skin. It, makes, it definitely makes you feel very hydrated, which it should. It doesn't feel tacky, which a lot of hydrators can do. Um, it feels just very fresh. I, I really like this a lot. Oh my god. Nicole, if you're out there, I need some of this. Stat. So now I have some more L'Occitane products. This is the Milk Concentrate. It says this is a firming and smoothing cream. And the rest is in Chinese or something. But, um, so let's give it a try. I'm just going to see what the feel is like. So that's what it looks like. It looks like your basic lotion. Oh, that smells lovely. It's floral with a little bit of something else. It smells very fresh and clean. Oh, I like that. It, oh, wow. It goes on a little bit, definitely goes a long way. That little dab is doing pretty much most of my arm. Again, it leaves a really nice, silky smooth texture. Wow. Uh, most lotions and things, they don't really absorb very well to, into the skin, but they seem to have gotten this down. <laughs> This is really good stuff. Wow. Um, the next thing I'm going to try is, and this is the last sample from L'Occitane, this is their dry skin hand cream, and this has a 20% shea butter. I'm just going to take just a smidge right there. This is definitely a little bit of a thicker cream. This is going to be really great for, like, winter and fall, and oh my god. That smells nice. 
it literally, like, my hands were a little bit dry in my knuckle area, and it literally, literally just kind of, like, smoothed it over, and my skin completely absorbed it. I really like this stuff. If you guys, um, want something that's going to help balance your, your hyper, hydrolipidic film of your skin, which is, like, your oil-water balance, uh, that protects your skin, I would definitely suggest L'Occitane. They seem to have the formulations down. They're, they're... A natural product line and I don't know you guys should definitely try it so I I like it and I'm like a skin um, I'm very picky about my skincare and things so, and I'm kind of looking forward to getting a lot of their products so thank you Nicole for for sending me these those are pretty amazing products the next thing that I'm gonna try is the origins plant scription SPF 20 this is I believe a face cream And if you guys don't know, Origins does, like, a lot of, like, plant-based products or, like, a lot of natural stuff. This is what it looks like. Basic lotion. It's a little bit thick. Very creamy. Well, it's not thick. thick. It, it's, like, thicker than a normal lotion. It does smell really good and fresh. It's going on my skin, <laughs> but my it actually feels like it's sitting on top of my skin. I don't really like it. Um, I don't know. I don't really... <laughs> Origins, I love you, but I don't like your, your cream right here. This would definitely feel, like, too heavy, I think, on the face, especially if it's not absorbing quickly. Usually, um, for a drier skin type, this would be really good, especially as a protectant during the winter or something. But for me, it's just not going to work. So that finishes up my beauty haul for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some cool information. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And I love you guys. Peace out. Mwah.